Have you ever wondered how the government pays for all the important work it does, such as building roads, dams, schools, hospitals, and running offices, police stations, and courts? In this video, we'll explore the different sources of income for the central government of India and why it's important for all citizens to use public resources efficiently. One of the primary sources of income for the government is income tax. This is a tax that people who earn money from jobs or businesses have to pay and the amount varies depending on the type of income. For example, if you work for a company, a portion of your salary is deducted as income tax. If you are a business owner, you have to pay corporate income tax on the profits you make. Let me ask you this. If you are not earning money from a job or business, are you not paying taxes? The answer is no. When you buy things like food, luxury goods, or movie tickets, a portion of what you pay goes to the government in the form of taxes. For example, if you buy a 100 rupee movie ticket, 18 rupees go to the government as tax, and the remaining 82 rupees go to the theater owner. In addition to income tax, the government also borrows money as market loans. However, these loans need to be paid back with interest, which means that the government has to be careful when using them. In 2023, these repayments were around 20% of the total income of the Indian government. Exporting products and services to other countries also generates some revenue for the government. A quick question, since roads are built by the government, the government should take full responsibility for its management. Is this the right statement? The government uses the money it collects from taxes to build and maintain public resources like schools, hospitals, and roads. That means that everyone contributes to the cost of building and maintaining these resources. For example, if the government is running a school, the cost of building the school, salaries of the teachers, and maintenance are all covered by the government by using the money it collects from taxes. So, it's everyone's responsibility to use public resources wisely and make sure they last a long time. Now let us try to answer the next question. Since the government has employed the cleaning staff, it is all right to litter the public place. Do you agree with this statement? Option 1. Yes. Option 2. No. The correct answer is option 2. No. Even though the government has employed cleaning staff to maintain public cleanliness, it is not all right to litter. This is because the money used to pay for the cleaning staff and their equipment comes from taxes paid by citizens. When people litter, it creates more work for the cleaning staff, which means that more tax money has to be spent on cleaning up after them. This reduces the amount of money available for other important government services like healthcare and education. So, it is the responsibility of every citizen to not litter and to use public resources efficiently, in order to contribute towards the overall development and progress of the nation.